Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make this new design for uh, YouTube. June, as you know, it changed on. It's going to change on June 5th. So I really wanted to show you how to do that. And uh, this is the one that I made for my channels. And uh, this is my sh Spanish channel, and the other was the main channel, this the English channel. So yeah, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. It's pretty pretty simple, and I just added some things. So I'm gonna go to this website. I'm gonna put the links below, and I'm going to start by opening a new image. So now that we are here, we're gonna select this uh, specs or the pattern for the layout, and that's what i have here that's what's supposed to look like uh when you put your images there so i have the history layers and navigator i'm gonna take out navigator because i don't really use it so i'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and now i'm gonna start working on the layout so i'm gonna go to file open image and i'm going to start by opening the background and i am also going to take the images that i'm gonna put on my background so i'm gonna go ahead and wait until this one's load and i think that's it so i'm gonna go to the select tool that i just pointed out there and then i'm going to drag all the photos to the uh corner that is over here so i can work in the background first and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the layer and as you can see, you can actually grab it and I'm going to drop it in the specs document. And when I do this, uh, now I'm going to zoom out so I can have a better look of my working area and I'm going to make invisible the background layer. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the images. I'm going to transfer them to this specs document. And uh, once I do that, I'm just going to hide them because I'm not going to use them right now. And so I'm going to do that with all the photos and I'm going to start um, changing the sizes. And it's really easy to just go to edit and free transform. And as you can see, you can just grab the corners and uh, make it the size that you want and you can rotate them and all that so once that you have done so once you have done all your images now you are going to go to uh, this font uh, tool that you have over there and you're gonna type the text I'm going to start with the title the title is the 290s and then I'm going to start playing with the fonts and the sizes and it's pretty simple it has all the descriptions there so you can uh, modify the size you can modify the um, kind the style of your font and uh, you can change uh, to a different family of font and you can also change the color so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just try to find the one that I like uh, after that, I'm going to, as you can see, I changed the backgrounds. I, sh I switched to this one just because I think it's way cuter. And what I'm going to do now, I still have my font there. And I haven't really done a lot of things to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open an image and I'm going to drag this banner that I have over here. I'm going to drag it to my uh, document and I'm going to set it as a background for my font and this way it's gonna look better so now I'm gonna change this size for this one and um, the uh, orientation what I wanted so let me go ahead and work a little bit with that and I think it will look good um, there so I just need to make it cute and I don't know good looking <laughs> so the next thing that i will do i would change the font just because i'm not really happy with that so uh, the way that you do that you just go to your font tool and click on the text and now you can modify the color and fonts and all that so i'm gonna change that and let me show you how i'm going to leave it in a little bit so i chose that one but i don't really like it in white and so I don't really like it in black and I'm gonna change it to this black font and I think it looks way better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little effect or style to my um 
to my text and the way that i do that i'm gonna go and uh, right click the uh, layer with the text and i'm going to select drop shadow and as you can see it gives a nice effect but i really wanted to kind of blend a little i don't want to be uh, too obvious and they you have different kinds of uh, coloring options so i'm going to choose this one and i'm just going to make it a little bit darker not too much and then click ok so once you have that you can change the uh, settings play with the um with the settings i'm just going to make it uh more uh cute and stuff so now it's time for me to work in the uh, images that I'm going to use. So I'm going to uh, resize this a little bit uh, with the uh, free transform. And uh, the, then I'm going to rotate it and uh, just uh, put it the way that I, that I think is going to look good. You can add as many images as you want. Just remember that... Um, the area that is going to show in your channel uh, is limited by the uh, specs that are showing in here so i'm going to do my, all the pictures that i have as you can see i'm working on that really really quick and i'm going to show you this one so this one that i do here i'm going to take the selection tool and i'm go and i'm going to select this part and re and then click shift and select the other one so i can have both selected and that's a good tip when you are using this kind of program so it helps you a lot so i'm going to delete the borders because i'm going to add my own and i want them all to be even that's what i did that and i'm going to resize this image too and now it is starting to look pretty and sweet and all that so here is the background uh so far i'm going to add a bar where the marking area is um that way um it's going to pop out a little bit more it's not necessary it's just for um uh, the view and I don't know maybe it will look good and I'm trying to get this bar in a little bit transparent and I think that I got it so I'm going to do it and I'm going to delete the other one that is showing it doesn't really show a lot but that one that I'm making right now is the one that it's going to be translucent so let me go ahead and uh, click the other background image and it's going to look like that so as you can see and my banner is below so i need to move it up up so now one of the layers got deleted i'm gonna put it there in a little bit i'm going to work with gradients and that's the one that i choose so i'm going to add a little detail for the tv um background and that's what i'm doing that and it's going to look super good in the um <coughs> when you are watching this on the tv so it's as simple as just dragging this line and it's going to give you that effect. You can do it longer and you will have a better effect for that. So as you can see, I, I added my image back. And now I'm going to add the borders. And the way that I'm going to do that, I'm going to make it a little square. And uh, I'm going to make it in white. And this is just so, to, so I can add a little Polaroid effect, sort of um so i'm going to make this square and i'm going to go to edit and then free transform and once i do that i'm going to uh, take it behind the image as you can see i'm going to rotate it and resize it so i can have it as a border and this might take a little but i i really like the uh the look uh, that it gives to the photos it makes them uh, pop out a little bit more and I really really love it so that's what I do that so let me go ahead and finish this one I think uh, I'm about to finish this one and I'm gonna do all the other pictures I'm really cutting everything because I don't want this video to be super long so um, 
now I have that it's time for our uh, I need to add the I will add the logos for uh, mom post full screen and uh, my designing thingy that I made it so uh, yeah because I'm am a partner with mom post I really like to enjoy uh, to enjoy I really like to add those to my uh, layouts and things so that's how it looked like I added them there as you can see I have all the layers now ready and everything is ready to go so I think it looks super super cute I don't know what you think about it I'm going to add the uh, little um, sideline I don't know uh, subtitle i don't know for the channel so it's daily blogs recipes tutorials and more i'm going to select um this font and i'm gonna uh change everything the same color it would have been nice if i added the same uh, effect but i forgot to do that i'm not um well i might do it i'm not, i remember honestly so i'm going to put it right there and oh yeah i think i'm gonna do it so right click the text copy layer style and then paste it on your new text and you're going to have the same effect since it's a little bit smaller the text i need to change the uh, the shadows and uh you do it the same thing you do an edit or something like that and I'm just going to make it uh, on two instead of four and click OK. So my image is pretty much done. I just need to go to save. And now uh, you have different things that you can do there. But I'm going to rename this by um, the 290s background. And I'm, you have different formats that you can select. I'm going to make the quality 100% and uh the kind of format that i'm going to use is jpeg so just click ok and it's going to start saving just click save in the folder that you wanted and that's the folder that i wanted so the image is saved now go to your channel oh i'm gonna change my design this hurt so get the new design and uh, anyways you're gonna be uh, you're gonna have to have it anyway so yeah so here is the channel my channel oh it feels so weird but uh yeah so here's a little tour i already took it so i'm not gonna take it again so add channel art and uh it's gonna pop out this little thingy it's similar to blogger so now you can take your image, select the image that you just made and click open. So it's going to start uploading. And uh, meanwhile, you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That would be pretty, pretty great. See, it's that easy and fast. So that is what it's going to look like on the computer, TV and your phone. So I really like how it looks like. It's pretty awesome that they show you this part because I don't know, it motivates you to not regret the change i guess so this is what it looks like i really really like it i mean this is the second the third one that i make in one was not for me so um yeah this is my new channel view i just need to work on my trailer because i haven't made it but i'm gonna work on that soon and i'm going to add more sections so i can have more videos out there I'm going to add the recent uploads and uh, I don't know what it said there. You can choose horizontal, vertical. I'm going to choose vertical just because it shows a little bit more. And then I, I'm going to add another section over here too. And I'm going to uh, add my playlist because I have a few playlists if you want to check them out there too. So now just click on... Um, I'm going to leave them like that done and yeah that's pretty easy I really really love uh, this tutorial so let me know if you like it and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye